have like probably come up with this I play PS4 right and I'm always using my PS4 I don't have a gaming PC I'm usually using PS4 right so is it your gaming setup right? I'll tell you how to get from me being like what I am about to be right now with my friends my strong aid wait Wait, and wait a minute. He's, no. he's streaming on PS4, I can right? Carry, carry this with me and that. He's streaming on PS4. And all of that, I can just leave it. Actually, grab the crank as well. I swear. He's streaming. Yeah, I'm fine. But he's streaming on PS4 on, on Discord. How? Huh, what? Wait, what? To me, getting you to stream whatever you're streaming on your ps4 to discord without a computer shout out to my buddy aaron on this he is the one who showed me one day how to stream on your ps4 to discord so all of his credit goes to him this is really cool and i wanted to share it with you and because it is very insightful and very genius and very smart so hope you guys find this really great I'm also going to give you guys a way to get this done as quick as possible, even without watching this video. And there are ways that you can get through this as quick as possible. And I'm going to give you one single method. And that is that I made notes when I learned this method. And I went through this method and I took and I did notes. And I'm going to even drop that in the description of this video when it comes uploaded so that you can even skip the whole video and you can look at the notes i want you to get this and i want you to get this method i want you to get this resource so you can share your experience with your friends so what you want to do is you're going to have a phone or tablet on hand and discord app not the website you won't need a computer for this at all and what you're going to want to do is you're also going to want to have the app PlayStation Remote Play, and you want to have that downloaded. But there's more than that. If it were that easy, I would be able to tell all my friends this, and I have not been able to tell all my friends this without making clear, clear sense. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be able to create a new account on PlayStation. You're going to have to create a new online account. There is no loopholes around this. You're gonna have to create an online new account, but you don't have to worry about using a whole different account with a bunch of different data. Because when it comes time to using your new account, you're gonna use it for a different reason. So you're gonna do a create account and you're gonna go through it. You're gonna make an online account, not just an offline account on your system, but an online account. Still following with me? It gets way more complicated after this. But if you stick with me, you'll be able to get through. The next phase of this is you're going to have to make an online account in PlayStation so that you can use it once you download the Remote Play app and you'll be able to screen share on Discord. What you're going to do is you're going to follow through and make an online account. You have to make an online account. You can't make an offline account on your PS4, on your system. It needs to be logged into on the app itself. Once you do this, you'll be able to log into the app. Once you have followed through with that phase, you're going to then want to find your device and download the Remote Play app, link it, into your ps4 and then have the account that you made ready and signed in what you'll need though is you'll need to find in your own ps4 the remote play uh you'll settings. find it and it should look something like this and once you do that you'll link it in and then you'll find a digit and you'll link it in 
and then once you'll be able to link it in, you must have signed in to a PlayStation account. Right there, I had an error that I could not sign in because I did not have a PlayStation account. Use your main account. You might have the ability to be able to just instantly hop in after you've logged into your main account and be using this remote play display. See right here, I am able to just hop in. So you're going to sign in and connect it in. And you're going to let it sit once you've connected it. And then you're going to connect it with the digits that were provided. Once you do that, you'll be able to sync into your account. And then you'll be able to be able to sync into the next account, which is your main account, after you sync into the second account. And right now, you can use this and you can instantly hop in and you won't have a problem without using you. You'll be able to use your controller. The app uses this thing where you could disconnect your controller and be able to control it with Bluetooth through the app itself. But here, I am able to use the controller on the screen, right sitting at the screen and being able to play the game and still not have to use those remote con uh, play controls that you see on screen right there. Now for the final step, you're gonna wanna enter in a VC or a call with your friend on Discord. And you're going to want to use the Discord screen share. Now I do not know essentially if this is available for all devices. This was a beta t uh, test on mobile devices you're going to want to enter into a vc and you're going to want to have at the ready your app but this is the first step you take when you enter in a call and you then will go to the app but first enter into a call wherever or vc in your server wherever your friends might be or whatever reason you might want to start streaming and you're going to want to access the remote play app after that but before you do that you need to cast your screen which is the which is going to be an icon at the bottom left and then there even though i was using the screen record uh, on my mobile device i was not able to immediately start casting my screen because i was already screen recording but you're going to want to go out and you're going to want to go in to that is it. You get to share app. your experience and then you're going and whatever to you're doing on PS4 with friends connecting. on Discord and then voila. The screen share. This I essentially know is a lot of information to take in. So that's why I'm going to be able to give you guys something to make this process a lot easier. One, if you have any problems getting this set up at all, please leave a comment in there. I get these notifications that you guys comment, that, and that's how I'm always immediately able to respond to them. Two, I will also be dropping in the description of this video notes that I took when I learned this method and you'll be able to follow through in the description this method I'll even leave that I left this message about how you can follow the notes in in the beginning of the video you'll probably see the same footage right now but like you'll be able to follow these notes if you don't want to watch this whole video if you didn't want to watch this whole video